Africa is a great, huge continent with a wealth of natural and forest resources. It has been kept that way because we respect our indigenous knowledge systems. Women have been the custodians of indigenous knowledge systems, which is why the women are the ones that go out into the forest to gather and to collect food, fruits, mushrooms, medicines, and all that. Kakuli idwe kamete nzukira moise. Bambu enzo ita chabe kuka cha kuseni. Mazazunguru kacha bebe ne maake. Babuira na tundiyo, bapika, batenga tubo wakupimitengo. Dadi. So chabe tengo enze pafupi na nyumba na mitengo zitari zitari. Sustainable use of the ecosystem is more uh, important now than ever before because we are losing uh, these uh, trees which are efficacious, trees which are, are, are healing all natural remedies, all natural sicknesses and so on uh, due to industrialization, charcoal, uh, agriculture. The water points have been protected for a long time. In Zimbabwe, the Monomutapa Hills and a lot of other hills have been protected. The elders would insist that there's a spirit in that area. But in actual fact, the scientific explanation behind that is that they did not want to disturb the ecological sensitivity of the area. The only place with forest biodiversity now are the graveyards because those areas are mystified. So manji. Because <laughs> We have been working around promoting indigenous knowledge, looking back from where we have come from as a solution for the future. So it's important that the COP27 leadership recognizes that Africa is hinged on indigenous knowledge systems. So in appreciating their knowledge, it's possible for us to now combine science and culture to protect the environment through nature-based solutions. Then together we'll still be able to derive economic value from the forest without outright destruction of the forest. We only have one earth and we collectively need to manage it or else we risk not being resilient to climate change.